Hi, I'm Remen. Hi, I'm Cora. Hi, I'm Cayman. And we're from period four. The overall purpose of this lab was to silence the C. elegans wild type and see what the mutation does. One method we used was sterilely chunking the C. elegans words and transferring it from the starter plate to the feeder plate. This is the video of the first day of our experiment. These worms are all wild type worms, which means they have not had any genes turned off manually yet. This is an egg. Over here is an L1 worm, the first life stage after the egg. L2, L3, L4. L4s are nearly identical to adults, but they are slightly smaller and do not carry eggs, if they are female. Male worms are very active compared to females as they swim all around the females frequently. This video is of our results on the first day after being in the incu fridge for four days at 16 degrees Celsius. Our results were different than what we were supposed to have. We were supposed to have the roll 6 gene, but we were sent the wrong gene and got the pause 1 gene. Occurring in this video, worms had a life cycle mutation that caused them to either shrink or grow. In this video, you can mainly see either adults in L4s or eggs in L1s. This video is the roll 6 gene. This is what our C. elegans mutation which was originally supposed to look like. This mutation causes us C. elegans to move in a C formation rather than an S formation. This occurs within the neurotransmitters in the C. elegans. As you can see, these C. elegans all corkscrew and huddle together in several large groups. The gene we, had we worked with in this experiment was the ROL6 gene, and ROL6 interacts with the SQT1 gene, which codes for a collagen in the cuticle of the worm. If the ROL6 gene is turned off, the SQT1 gene will produce a different collagen, which causes the cuticle of the worms to be less elastic, and consequently, the worm will swim in circles. The results in this lab support this function because you can see in the previous video, the worms corkscrew together and move in a C formation rather than an S formation. In this, in this experiment, I really enjoyed seeing how two completely different C genes affected the C. elegans worms. It was really interesting to see how one C gene affected the life cycle within the C. elegans worms, while the other gene, while the other C gene mutation affected the neurotransmitters within the C. elegans and made them move in a different type of formation. What we learned in this experiment is how RNAi influences the production of proteins in the cell, which directly influence the development and functions in the C. elegans worms. I agree with my two partners. I think everything we learned was really interesting and very beneficial. We hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching. watching.